Hi, my name is Victoria. I'm 20 years old. I'm from Poland and I've been in the UK for a year and a half. When I was growing up in Poland, uh, I've never felt like it was a place for me and I just wanted to try something different. And currently I'm studying forensic science and in Poland, unfortunately, there is no such a course. There is plenty um, cultural and not only cultural differences. We can start with different plug sockets and uh, a washing machine in a, in a kitchen, which is very unusual in a Polish house. But moving, moving to like people being way more honest in Poland, that's why I've been really shocked with when I first came here that everyone is so nice that it's, it's weird nice, I would say, because there is, I think there is a lot more fakeness in the UK rather than honesty. Another cultural difference I would say is probably people in the UK being more welcoming and definitely more open-minded. No one cares what you dress like, what you look like and what you do. So I remember when I got on the flight, I was with my dad because I, I had a broken elbow at the time and uh, I couldn't move by myself so uh, my dad decided to join me and uh, I remember um, taking off and uh, I started crying, thinking about all of my friends being left uh, in a different country and my whole family and my cat. <laughs> and uh, when when I first started living here by myself, I remember being so homesick for like two first weeks because it was COVID, I had no friends, which was very sad. <laughs> um, I was crying every single day every single day on the phone to my parents for two weeks thinking about all the ways how I can still study in UK and somehow be in Poland. Because of my broken elbow um, I couldn't move to UK before 1st of September which made me um, ineligible for student loan. Um, hence I have to uh, work almost a full-time job while doing a full-time uni course which sometimes it's uh, a bit difficult However, as much as I wish I had a um, student loan, I think if it, it taught me a lot of financial responsibility and uh, I've got great time management skills. In the beginning, it was um, very difficult for me to uh, interact with people because obviously English is not my first language, even though I, I can speak it pretty fluently. It was a bit difficult, especially with, with different accents. So uh, at my current job, um, I'm a waitress and uh, I was serving a table and I had a very upsetting situation um, that happened to me. There was, um, there was this guy who really tried to get my number and I repeatedly refused to give him my number. And uh, after a while he turned xenophobic towards me and uh, when he found out I was Polish he started saying that I should go back to my own country, stop stealing the jobs and uh, told me I don't belong here and I'm never going to fit in. When I was still in the secondary school I found out about Brexit and how my tuition wouldn't be funded anymore and obviously I couldn't afford it to pay by myself, especially considering the currency exchange difference. Um, so I actually had to drop out of my secondary school so I had no A-levels and uh, I had to start my new adult life at 18 with no A-levels, still in foundation year at university. Overall, my whole experience, there was a lot of ups and downs, I would say, but mostly ups and uh, I don't think I would change it for anything else.